History is being made in the NFL this Monday night. We have two Monday night games at the exact same time on two different networks. I'm going to let you know how to play one of them and make some money when you do so this Monday night in the NFL. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And yes, history will be made. I know we do the two Monday night games at the start of the season in week one, but those are always split times. You can watch them both on national TV. NFL is doing something a little different this Monday night, December the 11th. Both games kick off at 8.15 Eastern. Titans-Dolphins on ESPN and then Packers-Giants at the same time will be on ABC, their sister-brother networks. And this is part of the uh, TV package deal that ESPN and ABC has with the NFL. And they're trying to get, bring more of a Sunday afternoon multi-game approach to primetime. We'll see if it works. Hey, by the way, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like having two Monday night games? Do you like having them at different times or at the same time? You can toggle back and forth between the two networks. Um, I think it's an interesting concept. I like spreading it out. Why have six or seven games at a time on Sunday? We could have more during the week. Uh, so this will be an interesting experiment. I'm going to look at the one game on ESPN, as I mentioned, the AFC game, Titans and Dolphins. As we see, the, the Dolphins were briefly an 11.5 point favorite last week. The look ahead line, now it's 13 across the board. Even some 13 and a halves starting to show midweek here as I check the Wager Talk live odd screen. And of course, 14 is a very key number. And yes, this game might get to 14 by kickoff Monday night. And the reason I say that is because the Dolphins look like a very public play. You know, of course, I'll have my NFL fade the public video this Saturday here on the channel. I'll let you know if this game makes the cut or not. Uh, but no matter what, the Dolphins will most likely be the public side in this game. Line's gone from 13 to 13 and a half already midweek. Could it hit that key number of 14? Perhaps. If you like the Dolphins, I'd lock up the 13, 13 and a half now. If you like the Titans, I'd hold off and see if you can maybe get a straggling plus 14 by kickoff Monday night. Hard for me to fade the Dolphins, though, in a focused spot against an inferior defensive team. Um, in my, It'd be lay it if you're going to play it here, in my opinion, with the Miami Dolphins, minus the 13. Dolphins are an explosive offense, to say the least. Best offense in the NFL. We cashed an easy over winner last week in the Commanders game. Dolphins put up 45 of the 49 points on their very own, and it soared over with 60 total. And the Dolphins have actually held their last three opponents to 15 points or less, playing some sneaky good defense against the Raiders, Jets, and Commanders. Now, those are three of the worst offensive teams in the league. I'm well aware of that. The question becomes, can Tennessee do anything about it? Well, Titans are only averaging 17.5 points a game. They're a below-average offensive team as well. Uh, they've been very up and down with rookie quarterback Will Levis at the helm the past six games. Uh, overtime loss against the Colts. Now they're traveling primetime game the next week in a hostile environment. Not a great setup. Uh, Levis has played better the last three games. He had that nice debut against the Falcons back at the end of October and then two bad outings against the Steelers and Bucks. He has played better, a 144 rating, a great outing against Jacksonville despite losing by 20, and then 83 and 81 ratings the last two weeks against the Panthers and Colts. I think the Dolphins actually are better defensively than those teams, though. It is a step up in class, and Tennessee has not stepped up well in class this season. I referenced that 20-point loss against the Jags. Uh, they also lost by eight against Baltimore, a neutral site game. Don't forget, they still lost by eight as only a five-point dog. Also uh, lost by 24 against a good defensive Cleveland team early in the season. In fact, they're 1-4 oh, they're against the spread against quality teams, and that's if you consider the Chargers in Week 2 a quality team. They won that game in overtime, barely. Otherwise, they're 0-4 oh straight up in ATS against the other four good teams they've played this year. Dolphins are probably the best yet, and Miami has just beaten up on bad defensive teams, as I mentioned earlier. 45 points against not my Washington Commanders last week, and also uh, they put up some points against other teams they've played this year, such as 42 against the Panthers, um, and they also put up, of course, the 70 against Denver a couple months ago. They even put up uh, 31 against New England back at the end of October. That's looking pretty impressive, considering the Patriots have since given up the fewest points in the league the last four games since then. They've given up just 46 over the last four games. They, the Dolphins scored 31 against New England the game before that four-game span. So obviously an explosive offense, and when you have a team like this, we have what we call front-door cover potential. You know, we always talk about back-door cover potential. The Dolphins have front door cover potential, and we saw that with that Friday game against the Jets a few weeks ago where they pulled ahead and won by 21. And I'm not sure the inconsistency at quarterback gives Tennessee much backdoor cover potential. So once again, primetime national TV focused spot with the best offense in the league. If you're going to play it, you better lay it. I know it's a public side, but hey, look, the public's not always wrong. We pick our spots when fading the public, and this will be one of the times I do not recommend fading them. I think the Dolphins minus 13 is the best option here for Monday Night Football. Hey, once again, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on having two Monday night games at the exact same time this week. I think it's a good idea. Um, I don't mind it. Two networks. We can watch both of them. Nothing wrong with that. Also, thumbs up, like, and don't forget, hit subscribe and hit the bell so you know when that NFL Fade the Public video is posted 
this weekend here on Wager Talk TV. And also, don't forget, through this weekend, you can get the 199 All Sports All Access Special. In fact, I believe it goes through Monday night. So right before this game kicks off, through this Monday night, you can still lock in with the rest of 2023 for just over $8 a day. That's not only my NFL football, which is red hot 10-2 and two the last three Sundays in the NFL, but also college football. You get about half the bowl season in December. And then, of course, you get college and pro basketball every day. So I do this video on a current 17-5, and 77% all sports run. That's basketball and football combined. So not a bad time to try out the rest of the calendar year for just over $8 a day. No promo code needed. This offer expires on Monday night. So lock in now and get on board my best bet, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker. Shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on Twitter as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. Follow me on Twitter, at Steve Merrill. I also post free plays daily on my page at wagertalk.com. also post free plays on Twitter and on Instagram, on IG. Yeah, I'm on IG. Who knew? Follow me there along with Wager Talk. And don't forget, stay tuned right here on Wager Talk TV for more great football and basketball preview videos coming up next.